This is a quick tutorial on how to do Hess's nanogram. You'll need three pieces of information plus a nanogram itself. You need to know the rectal temperature of the victim. You need to know the air temperature, which is often referred to as the ambient temperature. And then you need to know the individual's body mass, or what most people would call their weight. The first two pieces of information you use are the rectal temperature and the ambient temperature. You may want to put a point along the side of the nanogram for each of these. So in this case, the rectal temperature is 10, so I'd want to put a point up here at the 10, and then the ambient temperature is 2. So at the zero point, I need to go down to a positive 2, so about right here. So by placing a dot here and a dot at 10, what I would do next then is draw a line between those two parts. So here's a blue line that I've connected between 10 and 2. Once you've come up with that line, you need to identify the point at which the line you just made intersects this line that is part of the nanogram. So right here, you'll see that my blue line now intersects the original line part that was part of the nanogram. Now you're going to go from the center of this target through that point at which your line intersects the one that is part of the nanogram. So in this case, I'm going to use a red line going out through there and extending it all the way to the end of the, the nanogram itself. Now, once I've drawn this line out, I need to know how much the individual weighed, their body mass. In this particular example, it's 80 kilograms. So I can either go along this bottom line, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 200 kilograms, or I can come over here and go up. In this case, 80 and where my line is, I'm going to want to use the scale down here. So here is 80. I'm going to go up along the line for 80 until I intersect or cross where my red line now has touched that particular curving line. So again, 80 kilograms, I go up to the red line and I stop there. I'm going to look to the right of that area and try to figure out now what time it is. So again, the person weighs 80 kilograms, I go up, I see there's a 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So I'm going to say it's just after 30 hours here. The other thing I need to know then is was the individual found with clothing or not? That's where this outer arc comes into play. The digits on the outside refer to a plus or minus if an individual is clothed. If the person was not clothed, I'd use the inner numbers. So in this particular example, I'm going to say this person probably has been dead for at least 30 to 31 hours, and I'm going to say plus or minus 7 hours because they had clothing. If you need any additional examples, please see either Mr. Smith or Mr. Blown, and we can help out with that. I hope this has been helpful.